Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th. I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you for not begging for the reading. I really appreciate that. Now this may not resonate with you as it's not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. Next uh, segment, I will move you guys right up to the top, okay? Since you were last. So my next readings, you guys, will probably be second. If nobody begs for it, you know, because that, that just irks me. It's one of my pet peeves. Everybody has them. All right. So this is a love reading. I see alignment here. I see happiness here um, at the beginning. Okay, there's happiness at the beginning, but it is, is right next to this Six of Pentacles. It's like the reverse. There's a lack of confidence with this, with this relationship. Where's that coming from? There's lack of uh, feeling like you're good enough. Okay, it's like you're rejecting it. Why are you rejecting this happiness? that kind of thing. It's like you might feel like you can't go into this relationship or this relationship isn't going anywhere. Maybe you feel like you there is. It's like there's a rejection of of happiness, like you're rejecting it. There's something going on behind the scenes. It's like this is a cycle that you've been going through. Maybe you're going through some kind of cycles. Maybe you have fear of commitment. Maybe you have fear of getting hurt in this relationship. Maybe you have fear of being rejected. Um, maybe you feel like you deserve more. Do you feel like you deserve more than the current relationship you're in? Or that whatever somebody's offering you? Yeah, there's there's like a... There's there's some that the com current commitment you're in or relationship you're in, it feels like you're feeling like you deserve more. You want more out of this. There's got to be more to it than this. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom this in here. Or make sure it's zoomed in, whatever you want to call it. Alright. It feels like you're you, if you are in a relationship right now, you still you're lonely. I see like loneliness here. Maybe you ha you have like this fear of being let down. You know, perhaps there's a new door that wants to open for you in love, but you're feeling like if I go this way, they're just going to let me down anyway. Lack of confidence, lack of lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem. You know, this fear, that's all it is. It's just a fear. It's an illusion. That's what the moon brings, illusions. You have the, you have the power with the magician card to create the future, to create the love, to create the life that you want. That's what this is. This is willingness to shed the old and to use your own powers, okay? You have to be willing, you have to be willing to let somebody love you. But you have to be willing to love back. There's definitely a loneliness here. Feeling like you could be rejected. You know, feeling like there's more. There's got to be more. This is, I, I deserve more than this. I know that I do. And it feels like there could be a new path. Like there's a fork in the road. And there's a new door opening for you. But you're afraid that if you go down this road the grass might not be greener or it, it might not be green at all. You know, it, you might get rejected in the end. What if you make this move? You know, what if you make this move and it was the wrong decision? It's time to make a decision and you're at a point right now where you're scared to make a decision for fear of rejection, fear of um, it not turning out the way you'd hoped. But I can see that you're lonely, whether you're lonely in your current relationship or, or you're single and you're lonely. I do see the loneliness. Some of you, if you're older, you may be going through like a mid midlife crisis. It's like, I, I, I know there's got to be more to, to happily ever after than this.
and you've been losing sleep, you want it's like you want to move on. You want to move on from something. You know, you're, you've been going through this um, depression, like I said, midlife crisis, but you're scared to close the current door because that's where you're comfortable. I've been comfortable here for so long that I, I don't know if I dare to step into the unknown at this time. But I really want to. I do want to, but I'm so scared. The thing is, is you, this, it is time to make a decision. I think many of you are stuck in a relationship or in a situation, maybe you're single, that where well, you're not happy, but you're scared to go find new love. You're scared to open your heart to somebody else. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision. If you stay where you're at, that's where you will stay. There is an opportunity for love, but you're not letting it happen because you're letting fear drive. I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love and you just don't know what to do. Should I go or should I stay? Should I go or should I stay? I kind of want to go and I'm talking like I'm you here. I kind of want to go, but I, but it's so comfortable where I'm at. And, and and what if what if they reject me? What if I end up lonely and all by myself? What if I what if I die alone? That kind of thing. But fear is is the biggest hurdle to step over. Okay, so if you can. Master your emotions. See, this is reversed. This is you stepping into fear. Upright. But with it reversed, you you don't have you're not using the power that you have within you to do it. You're not finding the strength to do it. You're letting fear steal your happiness. Oh my gosh, take a look at that. Love yourself first. Can you do it? Can you? You spent all these years taking care of everybody else. What about you? What about you, Aquarius? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All you have to do to combat this fear is love yourself. And once you love yourself, your attractiveness will blossom. And when your attractiveness is blossomed, love is certainly going to be right there to knock on your door. But this is the deal. This is the deal. You have to trust and you have to have faith in the divine plan, in the universe, in your God, and in yourself. It's all about trust and faith. This situation is calling you for calling for you to have faith and trust in the whole situation. And it's another thing, another hurdle, another lesson that you need to learn in this lifetime to have faith and trust in yourself. Okay? Now we're going to get one of the energy oracle cards. I tell you what, there's a reason for everything. I think this is probably one of the best readings I have done yet for this segment. And there's and it happens to be the last one. There's a reason for everything. Okay? Ooh. All tied up. Stuck. My kids used to have a book. It was something. Stuck, still stuck, no luck. We're going to read it to you anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. Oh my God. It's true, it's the perfect card for you. Lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. 
This card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists, body, and arms. Receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward, or it may be that some technic it may be that some techni technicalities are blocking your way. Makes sense, doesn't it? Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. This kind of coincides with the general reading. If it isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Are you tying yourself up in some emotional angst or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with? If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You needn't live in your self-imposed jail any longer. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Free yourself. Free yourself, Aquarius. Talk to you later.